आई एम हिस्ट्री हंटर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई वीडियो People of Magadh overthrew corrupt Nag Dasak in 413 BC and replaced him with capable Shishunath, governor of Kashi under Haryankas. He ruled from the capital Giriraj. He was a literary prince and thus later he shifted his capital to Vaishali. His biggest achievement was the conquest of Avanti which completely destroyed Pradyot dynasty and ended of 100 years of Avanti Magadh war. Being a king, he assigned his son Kakvarn governance of Kashi. Kakvarn or Kalasho ascended the throne of Magadh after the death of Shishunag in 395 BC. Kala Ashok shifted his capital from Vaishali to Patliputra. During his 10th ruling year, he held the second Buddhist council in Vaishali, marking 100 years of Mahaparinirvana of Gautam Buddha. Despite his efforts, differences among the Buddhists remained, which later divided into Mahasangit and Sthavira. I am a history hunter and welcome back to my video. The high officials of Avanti planned to take revenge from Shishunath and arrange the most beautiful girl in city, Anandi, to attract and marry Kakwan. On the other side, she loved a young handsome barber son, Mahapadmanan, who once saved her from a ferocious animal attack. On her request, Kakwan posted Mahapadma on high ranks. Mahapadma, showing his talents, became a prominent figure in public. According to her Sharika, Mahapadma stabbed Kakwan into his throat. Kakwan divided his large kingdoms into his ten sons. The Mahabodhi Vams states their name as His son Nandi Vardhan ruled over Magadh territory from 367 BC. After him, his son Mahanandi took over the control in 355 BC. Shishunak dynasty had a kingdom stretching from Bengal in east to Chambal river in west, Nepal in north to Narmada river in south including Ang, Magadh, Vajji, Vats, Kyasi, Koshal and Avanti. Mahapadmanand was known as Ekrat for his sole monarchy. He killed Mahanandi in 345 BC and also removed all the sons of Kakwar from the way. The Puranas state that the Nanda king destroyed the Kshatriyas including Mathilis, Kashyas, Ichwakus, Panchals, Sursen, Kurus, Hayas, Vritihotras, Kalingas and Ashmakas. During his rule, Magad prospered in both wealth and learning. He built a strong administrative system and also military bases. He also introduced uniform system of weights and measurements. He built irrigation system and commercial trading policies. Patliputra was open for all the types of learners and greatest scholars. Parni was among them. He was a good friend of king. He is popular for writing Astadhyay, the first Sanskrit grammar book. The other famous scholars during his era included Varsh, Upavarsh, Pingal, Katyay and Vyali. He also worked highly for the welfare of Jains. During its peak, Nanda Empire stretched from present-day Punjab in the west to Odisha in the east, the Himalayan range in the north and the Godavari river in the south. Mahapadma was called Ugrashen for his huge army. He died at the age of 88. He trusted his eight sons to rule over the vast Magad Empire effectively. However, his youngest son Dhananan turned out to be a cruel in his practices. He is a money holder who imposed taxes on all sorts of objects including skins, gums, trees, stones and even on wood used in funerals. It is said he buried his enormous treasures in the bed of Ganga River. Chanakya, a teacher and a politician, asked for Dhananan's help as Alexander marched towards Taksela. Still, the greedy king not only refused to support states beyond his boundaries but also badly insulted and threw him out of his court. The large military frightened Alexander the Great and forced him to return without even 